Hey guys, I have another haul for you, and yes, it is my second Yankee Candle semi-annual sale haul. Now, I have to admit, I did some pretty crazy damage, and that's because I did end up going to the other store that I was talking about from my Let's Chat video. I ended up calling that store this morning, and she had, I think, four of the candles on my list, so I had the woman hold them for me, and I went and bought them. And while I was there, I did pick up some other candles that she didn't uh, put on hold for me, and along with some other uh, votives and tarts that I was pretty happy about finding. I'm really happy I ended up going to that store even though I spent a lot of money and I probably won't be going back until the very end because I had asked that woman if she thought anything was going to lower in price and she said that the mediums might go down a little bit so we'll see what happens. But anyways, let me just go ahead and show you what I bought. The first candle I ended up getting was this two wick tumbler in cherry lemonade and I had to go ahead and buy this. After I made that video where I showed you guys how to turn a votive into a tart, that smelled amazing. So like I said, I had to buy it and I just mentioned it is a two wick tumbler in the normal marbled wax. Then I ended up getting the 22 ounce large jar in pina colada and I melted the tart in this I didn't do a review because I literally melted it all in one sitting and I hardly ever do that and I just kind of forgot to make a review but this smells so good I absolutely love this scent I really hope that it smells just as good in the jar that it does when using a tart so that is pina colada then I ended up getting Country Lemonade, and I had her put this on hold over the phone. I had never smelled this before, so I was kind of taking a chance, and, you know, um, it smells pretty basic when it's not lit, but I'm really hoping it gets nice after I light it because I love lemonade scents. I'm not a big, like, lemon person when it comes to, like, straight-up lemon just because sometimes it can be like lawn or uh, not laundry detergent cleaner. It can uh, smell like cleaner that you would clean your house with, kind of like Lysol or something. So I'm really hoping that this smells more like lemonade, like fruity, like the cherry lemonade, like a drink, obviously, versus cleaning solution. So that is country lemonade. The next scent I ended up getting was. Stormwatch. I had to get another one. Um, I absolutely love this scent. The first candle, if you recall, I got in the smooth wax because they didn't have any of the marbled wax. Well, this is the marbled wax. So we'll see how this goes. And because I love Stormwatch so much, and like I said, my local store did not have any in the marbled wax, I ended up getting, yes, another one. Um, just on a side note, I'm not sure how I like the marbled wax. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not sure if it gives off such a strong scent, but um, we'll see what happens. If I decide to return it, I'll definitely let you guys know, but yeah. So I ended up just getting two Stormwatch from that store just in case if I couldn't find um, the marbled wax at my local store. The next candle I ended up getting was Almond Cookie. And I actually already have a candle in this, but I haven't melted it yet. So many people talk about how amazing this is, and I absolutely love almond scents. I am not a big bakery person, but I love almond. Like, this smells amazing. I was really hoping that they were going to have the two wick instead of just the jar, but they didn't. Um, when I walked into the store, they had no joke. 10 almond cookies. It was crazy. I was talking to the woman in that store and she was like, yeah, I'm really surprised that we still have all these almond cookies because this one's really, really popular. So I don't know. I think I'm going to end up um, burning this and I don't want to say I'm going to go get another one, but if it really is that good, I might have to get another one because like I said, I am not a big bakery person, but this smells amazing. This is something that I think I could burn all year round. So that is almond cookie. And then the next one I ended up getting was 
frosted pumpkin and I love pumpkin scents. I don't mind burning pumpkin all year round, but I was thinking back and forth whether I should get this or not just because you know it is summer and I do really enjoy, you know, my storm watch when it's, you know, rainy and nice outside even and also my fruity scents. But I figured I would just go ahead and get this because I've never seen it in a two wick where I am and um, you know, you can not be prepared enough for when the fall time comes. So I'm really excited to have gotten this frosted pumpkin. And then the last candle I got, yeah, let me just go ahead and show you. This is brown sugar and cinnamon. Now this would be something that I would probably never get, but it smells really nice. I was really hoping that they were going to have the sugared apple and when I spoke to that woman on the phone she had told me that they didn't have it so I already knew that they weren't going to have it but when I saw they had this one and they had another one I think it's just called um it was just like plain sugar I forget what the name was but it was the really basic one and it didn't really smell like much I was really hoping like I said that they were going to have that apple uh, the sugared apple she said that she was surprised that they even got these in for the uh, semi-annual sale, but this smells good. Um, it's very light, I would say. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, but I definitely didn't wanna miss out and then regret it, just because the store, like I said, is a good 25 minute drive, and you know, when the Yankee store that I go to all the time is only like five minutes away, I don't wanna drive, you know, 25 minutes just to go get one candle. So those are all the candles I ended up getting. I know it's really crazy. So let me go ahead and move all the candles out of the way and show you all the tarts and votives that I bought. Okay, so the first set of votives I ended up getting were all from the fall preview line that they have out right now for 99 cents. And they didn't have any of these at my store. So all of these tarts and votives that I ended up getting, I couldn't find at my local store. So obviously I wanted to get them anyway. So the first one is Harvest Welcome. Then we have Whoopie Pie. I'm really excited for this one just because I've actually eaten a Whoopie Pie before. Last year I went to Pennsylvania and I'm pretty sure that's where they originated in like the Amish areas. So I'm really excited for this one. The next one I ended up getting was Treehouse Memories. This one is Seasons Blessings, Apple Pumpkin, and then the last one in the line is Caramel Pecan Pie. So there are six in the fall line that are coming out. Then I ended up getting Hometown Days. I actually ended up getting two of those. Then I ended up getting two tarts in tangerine. And like I said, I've never seen these in my local store, so I figured I would just go ahead and get two to try out. And then I ended up getting Macintosh and Peach. This next one is called Berry Bramble. I am not a big berry person. I've said that a lot of times just because sometimes they come off as artificial, but I wanted to give this one a try anyway because I've never seen this before. And then I ended up seeing these right here. They're all the same. There's three of them. It's called Rhubarb Plum, and I've never had a label like this before. I dug through the pile of tarts that they had. It was huge. They had about I think eight baskets and I looked through every single tart pretty much. So I was pretty excited to find this. I'll definitely be doing a review. So that is Rhubarb Plum. And then I have three more votives that are in that same category that are pretty old. This is a spiced cocoa in a votive. I ended up getting two of those. And then they had Berry Tangerine. So I'm really excited for these older ones because like I said, I've never seen them before. Um, you know, I pretty much grabbed everything I could that was older that I had never seen. And I know that will not be showing up at my store. Or if it does, it's probably pretty rare. So I also ended up getting three of the travel sprays. 
And the first one I ended up getting was this Good Air Odor Eliminating one. And yes, I did just get this from um, Marshalls, I believe it was. And I really, really like it. And these were on sale for a dollar. I paid $1.99 at Marshalls, but you know, I didn't know. But yeah, I had to get another one of these. And then I ended up getting the same thing, but in Vanilla Lime. I thought this would be really nice and general for my car. These are all gonna be sprays for my car, by the way. And then I ended up getting Pineapple Cilantro. I wasn't really into all the other car jars just because I've tried some of them before and I'm not a big fan. Same with like the scent portables from Bath & Body Works. Those just don't last for me because where I live, it's hot all year round. So, you know, when it's really hot outside, your car kind of, you know, it gets even hotter inside and the scent just fades away really fast. So these are really nice. You know, when you get into the car, you just spray one spray when you feel like you need to and it makes your car smell amazing. So that is everything I ended up getting. As Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be making another purchase. If I do, it's probably not gonna be until the very end you know, when they deeply discount if they do. So yeah, that's it. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.